Welcome back to another Frazetta study, and um, the first study I did was kind of like a side view, and I learned from that, and then the second one was a female form, the front view. I learned from that, and then I'm going to take what I learned from those two and apply it to this one, which is a, f a male form uh, front view, and um, I learned a lot from those last two, so hopefully this will be even more precise as far as the anatomy and the uh, application. So um, in this video I'm just going to go with a regular pencil and just uh, use these guides as a way for me to to do the drawing. So let's see where we start. We start with the head and then we have this area here and the arm extends, and then we have the hand. And then we have the sword, which comes out this way. So our sword in our hand. just trying to get the overall silhouette down using these grids that I've, I've put down alright so the crotch is like right in the middle and everything is pretty much center lined with that form in the middle. So I'm just working my way through it. just learning so here's like it's got a belt really cool designs going on with the belt so me have the belt the belt comes out to here Pretty much have it all centered from this this center line. So we have our necklace here. And then we have, uh, again, our mitten, our block, and uh, our thumb. And then we can concentrate on that positive space versus the negative. We've got those hills and valleys going on here. The arm is going back behind the, the rib cage, and uh, the chiseled chest. 
Turn that side now. Continue to this side. Looking at this crosshairs that I've, I've drawn to give me the precise whereabouts of where everything is here. So I think I'm in the vicinity of being almost correct. Using a number two pencil, just uh, going around the shapes here. A lot of really intricate shapes here. We'll go into it later. I'm just giving it a rough, a rough. Uh, Just a rough outline to fill up that space. You know, always start with the head, and uh, but it's it's never it's never uh, all correct starting point. You all start with the head. And, but you can start anywhere else. Um, so I guess the head starts around here. It's, it's turned up. So turned back I mean and so like the eye will be like right around here, the nose, and then the head's turning. Then we have our beard. Then we have that stylized hair. So, I have my drawing down. <clears throat> now you notice I have my palette here. And what I'm going to do is use this um, as a way for you to see my palette as I'm working. Because the last couple of videos I didn't have it in there. And uh, I wanted to incorporate it somehow. But I think this is the coolest and easiest way to do it. And the, you know the oils stick on here and I'll probably have some medium on the bottom but I have my my initial drawing down so next is to spray a fixative over it since last time it was uh, it was messy and uh, I almost lost my drawing okay so now I want to erase these lines here I don't want to erase them, they're going to show through the painting. I'll just get a lot of it out. But it really helps me uh, find that perfect drawing without going back and fixing it and fixing it. Because if I had done this freehand, I wouldn't have gotten even close. But it definitely helps. It's a lot easier than tracing it. I don't like tracing it. 
Okay, so now I'm going to spray with a fixative. I use this Testers spray lacquer, like dull. I, I find that it, that's all you need right there, is, is uh, a little bit of that. <coughs> And um, it's pretty dry, so I'm gonna let that let that dry, and then we'll come back. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and try to decide what colors we're gonna be using. And um, the only black I see is in the background, so we'll do that last. But I'm gonna go ahead and find some some browns. There's a lot of browns going on here. All right, so I got. Um, Van Dyke Brown. Gonna go with some raw umber. Burnt umber. Burnt umber if I can get it out. Ah. <clears throat> I found this, this color called Asphaltum. It's a very rich uh, reddish brown. Try that. This might be my go-to one right here. Some more umber, put it in the bottom. All right, so we got those, and then put some okra. I use a yellow okra pail. I'll put that right there. And I'm going to do a light red. So I go light red. And then I have this uh, raw sienna. Let's see what that looks like. Raw sienna. And then uh, this is yellow gray. I got these, found these colors through the Desideria. Um, sermon here. It's a yellow gray. And then it's got unbleached white. Another Desideria Discoveries. Un unbleached titanium dioxide. And then another Desideria color is a, is a gray. It's like a warm a warm gray. So I'll put this uh, down here. All right, I think I've got most of my colors. Then I have my white to mix. And I'll put that up here. So now I have all my colors. I'm going to use my medium. See if it'll stick to my palette. Okay, cool. All right, so we got a little bit of medium, so let's go ahead and start painting. It should be dry. Yeah. Medium and the asphalt. See what that looks like. Now if I take my towel and blend it, it's 
where my telecross did a cream, like a tone. Just um, keeping it uh, rough. Don't worry about not worrying about you know details. Just putting the paint down, creating tone, creating form. You know, not worrying about the little stuff. Sometimes you can get hung, hung up on that little stuff, and uh, it'll definitely take over your mind. Your mind will obsess over that little detail you just want just right, but as hard as it is to do, you just need to move on to the next thing. Following these, look, it's the Loomis anatomy. You know, and the asphalt is almost the same as this burnt umber here. Look at them, they're almost the same, but just a little richer. And I learned from another artist, uh, this was um, John Singer Sargent's uh, go-to brown. And he's got our ribs here. And there's a lot of really nice stuff going on here. So we have that, and it goes around. Going with my toe and just kind of putting that all in. Keep going here. Now let's move up here. And also, too, it's just a great way to escape if you feel uninspired. Just uh, copy a master. You have those simple shapes. I think what I'm going to do after this video is do a, a drawing, just a drawing with chalk and just go over what I've learned. I'm just going with a little bit of this detail in there. I'm going in with the handle. I'm not sure if I got that straight. So what I'm gonna do is grab a straight edge and just find that hand where that handle is and just draw some straight lines. There we go. And then I can go in with that dip in the handle right there. Finish the end off right there. Take the, the chisel part of my brush, just go straight down. There we go. All right, let's continue. Um, this is all red stuff. Um, I see the eye is.
Now it's still wet, it's just not slippery, it's not like sliding all over the place like that, you know, if I did that. Okay. To move down here. Let's work on this arm here. There's a lot of nice stuff going on here. Got to dip here. 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 And here. And the hand comes around and then we have that block right there. There's a block. And uh And uh, we have this here. The rib cage, and then we have this serratus anterior going on there. A little bit here, not, not much. area here we have these shapes going on I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on the belt. I'm just going to uh, just do a basic shape. Go into detail at the end. Nothing too about this asphalt and color is uh, doesn't dry as fast as per number. just have shadow going on here. I think that's um, you have all this, this like jewelry here. Concentrate on these shadow shapes. And as you can see, you know, with the shadows, there's an outline at the shadow. So it's like an outline here. And there's 
like an outline, like right around here, and it goes around. And that, that was what I was trying to um, explain in the last couple of videos. There's like where there's a shadow, you have dark, light, dark. It's not just one, one huge dark mass. There's subtleties to it. And as I'm looking at this, I see hints of red here and there. Like right here. Yep, this shape here goes, goes around. And then uh, it just fills up. Draw this hairline. This hairline. So now that I have my like drawing down in um, paint form, I'm going to start mixing some flesh color. You know, and as you see, the light shines down; and it goes light into dark. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some flesh colors here um, just start a little bit of yellow okra do some of this unbleached white flake white just light red just a tad just a touch not too much, it's going to turn everything red. So you just want a little bit. A little bit of red. And you got a nice flesh color. So you have that. Um, let's do, let's grab a little bit of that. Just add some raw umber to it. A little bit of raw umber. Kind of gray it down. Um, 
So that's a starting point. Let's try it. Start uh, right here. And just lay down colors because we can always add and subtract. You know, and there's a lot of red right there. adding color not worrying about detail like there's red in there just coming up here just coming around here medium kind of loosens it up so it's not so pasty and I'm just uh, just filling in see filling in these gaps Smooth that out a little bit. Grab those shapes. Start out, you know, start out somewhere. Let's go a little bit there. All right. Um, so let's go in with some of this red, just a little bit of that red. And just fill in like right here. Where I see red there. Here, there, there. It's kind of look all over the place. Here. There. It's in here too. brush and blending it.
So you have like a something to work on to start um, working on top. I'm just going to grab some of this. Let's see what it looks like if I just put it on top there. But as you can see, it's like here. It's almost uh, covered up. So you can have that that light coming down. So let's um, start working on these. This guy's here, I see where see where he takes me. And this is just my roundabout way of doing it. I mean it's uh don't know if it was the way he did it. But uh, I'm having fun doing it. So I'm just working in layers, blending. Just adding, subtracting, a lot of, a lot of the same principles as um, working on a drawing. Okay, this comes up. Just getting some of this bright, this brighter color here. breaking down the shapes and then blending. Softening the midges. Just moving my brush around, mixing. Trying to strategize what I want to do next. So right now, I just want to work on this area right here. So I'm going to go back in this asphalt and well, medium. On those darkest points, kind of a shape here. Shape there. And have a shape here. A little too much on my brush. And it comes down. And it's like outline, just got outline right there. And let's go in and redefine the shapes.
<clears throat> you know, I like how it's not the it's not totally symmetrical. Meaning, you know, we have like three styrations here, uh, uh, serratus anterior here, you got like one, two, three, and then there's just like, here it's just like the rib cage, just one, one line going over. So I'm going to wipe my brush and I'm going to blend these in. Pushing the paint around. Looking at the painting, enjoying it, learning. I hope you're having fun, and if you like what you see, uh, please consider subscribing. It'll help me tremendously. All right, so here's like a shadow going on. A shadow here. And then there's some red going on here. Take this and pull it up, push it up, pushing, pulling, just moving the paint around. <clears throat> just blending those edges, softening them up. So some of that red just carries over, carries over here. Soften up some edges. You have, a, <clears throat> you have an option of like pulling the light over the dark or the dark over the light. Okay, here it's like all these subtleties going on. Okay, here's nice white. And just blend that together. comes up <clears throat> okay so we got a lot of red going on here like right here there and there and it comes down
do with our flake white. Just grab right there. Don't want it too heavy. There. There. And it just comes up. Painting progresses, you see things stand out more. Let's get into this uh, burnt number. Looking at the drawing, kind of drawing with the, with the brush, just concentrating on this area here. Let's do what we did last time and just take a dry, a clean, dry brush and just soften that up a little bit. No, I don't think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to soften this up. Soften that up. A lot more red in this area here. And here, definitely here. Let's move over to this arm. Let's just get into this red. Just paint this red in here. Just concentrate on this mass here. Thing. As far as tone, it created a different um, chroma. Let's try this unbleached white. Fulton and uh, go in this direction. Maybe some of that red and just cover that area up. Take some of this 
red and just mix it in with this brown. Cause that's what, that's what I'm kind of seeing. And then let's go with our darkest dark. Let's go in with this Van Dyke Brown. There. Like right there. And then there's like a shape here. A double shadow, double light right there, and then there's some red right here. So let's soften that up. Bring some of that red in, that red right there. So let's move down. It's in the unbleached white. So this connects here. And then there's like a vein. Vein coming up like right there. And then we have these shapes here. So, so let's just blend. And their shapes. So you have that shadow going on right there. And you have this muscle here. What am my brush? All the excess oil and just blend. That's a hard edge. down here. Now there's there's some red right there. Let's see if I can get that in there without spoiling it. Yeah. But the shadow comes around right here. Comes around. Then there's like a, a vein. Comes around like right there. Let's go back to this red. This red brown like mixed together here. And uh, let's create those shapes. One, two, three and then you have the hand 
styration the hand and let's draw the shape here so it's like a, that it's a little too dark like too much dark in here it's more red and it comes in like that into our hand Now we just have those shapes, the shape there, uh, part of the thumb, shape here, there, and then just fill that in. Let's go with the leg. Since we're here. For beauty's sake, I'm just going to fill that in. So it looks like a mess. Alright. So now we have like our road map to work from. Let's go ahead and just throw in some underlying reds here. Get these shapes here. Now I'm seeing some stuff here, but right now I'm just going to concentrate right here. So I'm going to unbleached white. Bring that over. Bring that vein out. There. And then just blend. Just pull it over and blend. The beauty of it is we can add subtract, fix stuff up. So this comes around, and then you have like one, two, then you have like the wrist here, three, the wrist bone. And let's just blend this stuff in. It's a little more red than a little red over here. <clears throat> Alright, looking at it. This needs to come out. So I'm going to 
soften that up and bring it in. And back in this unbleached white. Let's bring out these subtleties. Flake white. Okay, this comes around to the knuckle. We'll just fill that in. So we have <clears throat> the shadows of the veins going on right here. These subtleties. It's not. It's not exact, but you know, we're trying. And the, like the hand is just abstract like a lot of his hands you don't need to show every finger to show the light and shade knuckle here here and um, blend I'm just going to blend this over start over So I'm going to the shadow of that vein now. Right there. Stuff going on here. A little dark. It's a little dark than it should, but it's bringing it out. It's kind of gets to get rid of some of that. Here we have those outlines of the shadow. They probably get in now. Now the paint's got a little tacky. with these muscles here. Lighten that up. Kind of soften those edges up. And then we have those um, we 
Okay, this comes over. Too much more pressure. It comes over to here. And then you like one, two, and then we have. There. And then we can go in and uh, in between here. Kind of soften that up a little bit. It's too dark right there. And just soften those edges up. It's brush strokes. Uh, and there's like a, there's some red in here. soft stuff up. And so this comes out here. Same deal, outlining that uh, shadow. So we have a, like this down here. Let's go ahead and create something around it. So to get an airy look, an airy feel. Um, just kind of using those same colors. Let's try this. And just paint around there. I'm not too worried about the background. I'm just worried about the figure work. And I'm just filling that in to give it something to adhere to instead of just floating on under like a sticker. And well that what did I use? And what did I use this? Just uh, going around.
and it just it creates an airy look and no more sticker sticker shock smooth out those edges some more medium. So here, it gets white, like right there. So you went around the edge. And just chiseled out that edge. Same here. And then we can just chisel out those parts. So right around here, there's a lost edge. I'm gonna clean my brush first. Let me go up here. So here, there's a lost stage right there. And then we can look at this shape. There's a shape here. It's like These two chisel down, like boom, and then boom. Like they're on the same plane. Then there's just a slight pressure going on there. So now that I have like this stuff filled in. This stuff needs to come down some more and dark, darken it down. Let's go with this mixture here. It's not, it's not exactly like it is in the painting. I'll switch brushes. So now let's focus on this part up here, the chest area. There's light, just there's light going on. And so I'm wondering if I should go ahead and do some black in there. I think I am. The reason I griffin black 
they dry pretty pretty fast. So I'm just gonna throw some black in there. All right, it's medium black. Let's go around. What's this area here? I could always tidy it up. Cause it really it really does bring it out. gonna start looking at stuff see what needs to be fixed here it needs to be blended down a little bit smooth that out it's really hard to tell with these paintings because um, you know you know how if it's like a third generation photo the only way to see it is go look at it in real time and like really look at it so I'm just going in and looking at these shapes like going around. shoulder there's really not a lot to the shoulder just take my brush in a circular motion all right now we're going to be working in this area here in the ribs it's just a lot of a very light light color going on here not a lot to it cage bring that rib cage out and then blend it down so I created that this here and I'm gonna blend it down So soften that edge. All right. So now I can take this and bring it out. Using a circular motion. So there's more red going on here, like right here.
message. Soften these edges here. can go in and just thicken up the lightest parts right there man it's like phew, it's all a lot going on there and then it comes down like that Like, I, don't, I don't know how far I want to get with that. I think I like the way that is. I'm just going to leave it. Just soften up those edges. Clean my brush. Pull some of this up in here. some of this down into here same here I'm gonna go with some red up here. Darker, dark 
Joker. Blend, blend, blend. So now get to almost like pure white up here. It's a little dirty, got some of that something in there. Let's just add on a touch, touch of thread in there just to. It's just too cool. Just too much coolness going on there. Let's tap it in. Just tap in my brush. Smoothing out those lines, those brush, the brush strokes. So let's get into this neck here. Taking our time, not worrying about rushing, just having fun with it because you know you get into a painting and it's like <coughs> you start painting and then it's like, what did I get myself into? But if you take your time, you'd be happy with the results. So I'm just taking myself, blending all this stuff in, just blending it. And then going in, and building layers. Clean my brush and then blending this stuff together.
Okay, now we're going to work on this part. I'm not going to worry about the sword. Um, let's go ahead and paint in some of this background. Okay. Get rid of some of this paint on the edge of the brush. All right. So let's dip into. I haven't really touched these two yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm just kind of guessing. All right, so. Maybe I should go ahead and do around the arm too. Do around this arm. Just get rid of it and uh, give me get rid of this color here, and that would be it with this. And blend this all together here. And here I went a little bit over. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff going on here. Let's just concentrate on the drawing. Okay. Okay, this is like pure white here.
then these might blend like there's um very subtle there's no like really hard line there um let's go with this color here just kind of bring out this some of that shadow two shadows like create a line in a brown and um, so here you know that going around and then there's these shapes going on like one two and then it goes into the wrist band there's your wristband right there. And go ahead and just draw some of these designs in. Just looks like a, a rhythm of stuff going on right there. All right, so let's go in with some some white medium. And uh, here. Just one. Just taking the paint and bringing it in. All right, so there's lots of red right here. Lots of red. Lots of red in here. And. Now it's blend. This is going to just blend and uh, move forward with it. edges in Bring that around bring those edges together So it's our first pass. Let's go in some white. Bring that out right there. Some more. Right there. Bring it down. There's a hard 
page right there. And uh, just blend that stuff in. Okay. out more it's more white bring that out all right so this come bring that surround slowly all right so now we have these shapes here I don't know how close I am I got to these shapes being correct. Um, so you have this shape here comes around. This comes around and then uh, yeah, I mean kind of close. Let's um Let's see, let's concentrate on this area right here. Actually, let's do, let's do the hand. Let's work on our hand. All right. So there's your thumb. Comes around. And there's a shadow going over here and there's the shape here just fills in. Let me have this palm here. There's a bunch of red. So you have our fingers. Again we have that mitten closed off and then there's just indication of where it where it ends right there. Chisel that out. And boom. I have um let's go ahead and just use some of this up. I'm not gonna be drawing a sword. focused on this hand. Okay. So now that I've established, um, it's going in like this red. There's like lots of red going on, like right here. 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 there, touch there, touch there. It's got a ring on, I'm just going to leave, leave the ring off. Alright, let's go in this unbleached white. And uh, bring out those knuckles. Or the fingers, I should say. And it's just a mass shape. That's all it is. Let's 
basically it. No more to it, but it's it. And um, let's round this off. So I got like some stuff going on here. It's just these basic designs that uh, she said beautiful. Got a line going on there, and it comes around. So it's just kind of lightly just fill that in. Then we'll punch it out. I'll use um. Let's try this one. A little bit of these both combined. Let's see what that looks like. And then uh, we'll go in with the uh, flake white and just start to uh, some medium smooth it out some some piece of rough. Let's try. It. Something like that. In fact, let me get my finer brush here. Okay. Get my triple zero Windsor Newton brush. Right, let's try this. Mm. 
I guess yeah, there's like a, a lost age right there. It's almost like orange right there. You see. Mix these two. It's got orange right there. So if it doesn't work out, you can just blend it and restart what you're doing. Okay, now I'll go in. Let's try some raw umber. Okay. I need to chisel out some of this stuff. This is not working. I have some orange here. Actually, I have some. It's cadmium yellow deep. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not worried about the sword. Um. I just there's some orange in here and there.
and we can uh, mix it, blend it. Circular motion. Because I didn't really need that black, but I will use it right here. Like right here. And then a bit of brown that shows Adam's apple. Going to the face. Going to the face next year. Actually, I want to get a smaller brush, but we'll go ahead and do some right there. There and there. Uh, yeah. Just lay down some color underneath. So where the nose is, this is where the eyes will be, right there. I will go there. Eyebrow will go right there. And then this will go around. And that's where the beard start. So, let's go in. colors and just lay it down and then chisel it out with the white. Just blend that down. Okay. And I'm going with the white. Cheek. Bridge and the keystone. Edge of the nose right there. Some red, and there's some reds going on right there. Red. Red. Here. Some red there. Here, a little red on the cheek. Yeah, you, you really don't see the other eye. It's kind of buried. Sorry, I won't pretend. I see it right here. It's like this needs to be blended right here. Sorry. Just need to blend that in. It's kind of bugging me. Some things just pull out. Like, they, they start sticking out like a sore thumb. As you progress. Okay. Um, so... Edge here, edge here, cheek. That's really pretty much it. Now let's get into the hair. Let's take this orange. Take this orange and mix it in with some of this. See what I 
Good. Will this bring the pain together? I hope so. Because right now I feel like it still hasn't been. It still hasn't been pulled together yet. Maybe this will do it. Let's go ahead and blend. Get rid of that white. Just blend it all, pull it together. I'm going with this black. Fix up that drawing. I'm just going to blend this stuff in, like right around here. Just blend it. I've got, you know, there's different subtleties of red in here.
there. Yeah, it's kind of like this, you know, these patterns going on here. I'm not trying to match them exactly. It's not perfect, but uh, it's kind of kind of close. A cheap boom. Um, and just kind of blend that stuff together, smooth it out. Looking at this, there's um, I'm looking at the shoulder. So I have my neck, the neck comes down, and you have that shoulder, and then this comes down, and then there's tone here, dark, toning that down for the earring, because there's like earring this coming around just like all these subtleties that you know, I could spend a while on but I'm not so you got this cheap bone here cheap bone right there now let's go in and uh, let's go in and some detail into his eyes. See if that works. Do some nostrils. Soften this up. Soften that up. I'm 
go in on this black here. I'm just going to just chisel that out. stuff going on here. I'm not sure what uh, my plan is, but I'm just going to lay down some of this orange in this area. I'm going to do this earring. It's going to go in this color here. Hearing, uh, looks like it comes around here. There, and there's something here. I don't know if it's hair or not. Then we got a highlight. Let's get into the detail of the, the jewelry. Um, water down. Where is this down? Okay. So let's just draw what we see here. Um, it's more. It's more brownish. side
And then there, okay. And then we'll go in. Um, with like brown. Let's try that. And uh, just go around and fill that in with that color. Just going around it. I mean, our eyes really don't focus on that. That's good enough. Okay. So we have all this down. I mean, and we're going to work our way down. We're going to start with the legs. Muscles. And the shoes are just a rag. We want to drag it down. Now, 
Let's see the top part we start where? Here. So I'm going to hmm. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna just create that tune going around here too. Shadow, this plate over his his belt. And laying down foundation here, and let's blend. this color and just punch stuff out Accentuating stuff here, there, here, and here. Yeah. And blend it. So I'm just going to scrub this in. I'm just going to scrub all that stuff around it into it. I'm going to scrub it in. And um, I'm going to go in with my fine brush, my triple zero. start laying in those these lines in there there this goes around there
wait. And just go around these edges. It's not got the same finesse, but uh, you know, it's hard to see the exact likeness without having the actual painting in front of me. All right, all right, this one here. You have three here. One, two, three, four. One, two. Then you have like these rivets. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, touches of orange here and there. some medium, some white. It's a uh, pretty dirty, it's dirtied up, but um, so I'm outline this here. doesn't want to take it I mean you know you got um, you know these these design sense of you know the blood you know going around that's like whatever this is you know you got those there's designs going on, a design element, and all that going on. Right here. Yeah, I'm not going to get uh, too hung up on that. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I mean, I hope you got something out of it. I certainly enjoy enjoy working on these and uh, I think that's all oh, I have really um what if I take a clean brush is this clean or is this what if I just took a clean brush And just 
point over these edges here. Looks like there's something there. Yeah. Okay, and it looks like there was a, there's like a extra piece of jewelry up there. Just has some ridge here, there. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. Um, so, thanks for watching. And if you got anything out of it, you know, please um, give me a subscribe and uh, a like. And uh, likes are important. Um, and um, I don't miss one thing here. Right here. All right. Well, thanks for watching again. And God bless.